guys coming at you with another worship tutorial. Um, today we're going to do In the River by <coughs> Jesus Culture. Um, pretty quick because it only has three sections and even then it's just super repetitive. Chords never change for this song, so um, let's get rolling. Right, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first lead line, which is the same as the later ones, only just a simplified version of that and clean, so there's just a uh, chord note delay on that. I'll go ahead and give you my clean tone. Right, throw a chord note delay on top of that. Sounds like this. Two, three, four. All right, dial that in. I don't know the BPMs on that, so you're just gonna have to, you know, play by ear. Um, you guys are smart people. Anyway, so let me go ahead and play the first lead line up to speed for you and get a feel for how uh, how it sounds, and then I'll break it down for you. Just play that two times. So let's go ahead and kill the delay. Um, so we're just going to start on the 10th uh, fret of the E string with our index finger and 13th fret pinky. So you're just going to do two pull offs. When I'm doing uh, upstrokes, I don't, I'm not thinking about it. So whatever you do naturally, I say go for it. Um, so you're going to just do that same exact thing. Um, and on the B string. So you're going to do E string, two pull offs. B string, same frets, 10th and 13th. And then you're going to take a nap. Not really. So again. Okay. And then <clears throat> your uh, second time through that lead part is going to go same thing. And then you're going to come. Uh, down to the 12th fret on the G string, um, down to the 10th, same string, back up to the 12th, and connect on the 10th fret of the B string, and that's where you stop. And you do that two times. So let's go ahead and cover that last half again. So it's going to start out again. E string, 13 to 10, B string, 13 to 10, two times, down to the 12th fret of the G, 10, 12, 10 of the B. So let's go ahead and play that whole part slowly. Take a break. And again. Now G string. You do all that two times. All right. So the verse, you really don't do anything at all. Um, except. There is one little lick that's kind of fun that really the keys synth player plays, but if they're not going to do it, you just steal that part. Um, so I'll go ahead and play it for you real quick. Do that two times. All right. So again, clean with a chord note delay. Um, so this one is going to start out on the pinky on the 10th fret of the G, the next finger on the 7th, and you're going to start with a pull off. Do the same exact thing down on the D string, 7th fret with pinky, the next finger 7th, pull off again. So you're going to do that whole thing two times, so G string, pull off, D string, pull off, do it again, G string, D, and then you're going to grab the <coughs> 10th fret of the A string with the pinky again, and then just quickly cut that 7th um, fret on the D, and it's just real short, so... Again, slowly. Two times. And then kind of going into the chorus, um, there's a little technically, again, not really your part, um, <clears throat> but you can do, you know, some swells or some dabbling. Usually what I do is I'll put on some chord note delay, uh, sorry, dotted eighth and a quarter delay and just play this. So, all I'm doing there again, clean, I just threw on a dotted delay, 
Um, and I've just got my index finger on the 10th of the G string, pinky on the 13th of the B, um, and I'm really just going back and forth with this pattern. Right, so just eighth notes going. And then eventually on the, on the fourth chord progression, I'll throw in my uh, ring finger on the 12th fret of the G, changing it to a, um, a C uh, bar chord-ish thing. Um, so the last one will go and do that two times. And then we're going into the chorus. Right. The chorus, I'm going to be terrible at explaining the rhythm part because I've never been good at that. Um, but I'll go ahead and play it for you again. Clean, no delay on this. Um, it's just straight rhythmic. I mean, you could put the delay on it, the chord note, but I, I just think it, the rhythm kind of needs to be very distinct. Um, so it's going to sound like this. Two times. So, I'm going to do a bar on the 10th fret of the G, B, and E string. Um, and that's your first three chords. And then the last chord, you're just going to, again, go back to that C bar chord, which is your um, 10th fret D string, 12th fret G string, 13th on the B. It's pinky. So, um, I'll go ahead and play the rhythm for you slowly, and it's just all rhythm. Um, my hand never stops moving and you know, clicking with the strings. Um, it's just as far as how I'm muting, you know, kind of lifting up and down and, and whatnot. Um, you guys are smart people, so that's, you can figure it out. All right, so I'll go ahead and play it slow for you. Oh, another thing. Um, in this first shape, every once in a while I'm kind of throwing this uh, 12th fret um, D string with my ring finger in there, um, and I'll show you where I do that. I'll kind of emphasize it, lean in a little bit. So here it goes. Here comes that D. Twice. that um, and we'll go into the lead part again so lead part coming out of that chorus and then the following chorus and then uh, the lead part during the bridge it's all the exact same thing and basically you just do it for the rest of the song so I go ahead and throw on my tube screamer or whatever overdrive you have I have a TS9 and I have my quarter note delay so we're gonna start this off same exact way as the other ones there's just a couple more notes in there um, so I'm going to go play it up to speed for you, and then I'll break it down. All right, so go ahead and ditch my effects. So we're going to start out the same way we did earlier with the uh, 10th and 13th frets on the E string. Two pull-offs, same thing on the B string. Um, and we're going to connect on the G string 12th fret down to the 10 back up to 12 and 10th fret on the B and then we're gonna do a finger roll uh, you can either finger roll or bar so um, and you're gonna come back down to the 10th fret on the G string up to 12 and then you're gonna rest on that 10th fret on the B so the end of that line is gonna go um, let's just take it from the beginning of that slow down to the G string 12 10 12 10th on the B, 10 on the G, up to 12 on the B, uh, sorry, G, and 10 on the B. Right? And you're going to come back around to the same intro again. E, B string, same thing again with the uh, 12, 10, 12 on the G, 10 on the B. What's different this time is you go 10 on the G, and then you go 13 on the B. Fall back down to the 10 on the B. And 
And my own personal flair that I throw in there is a little hammer-on at the end of that. So instead of going... That just sounds so boring. Um, I go ahead and throw in an extra note. I throw in the hammer-on to the 12 after that. So I go... And I go hammer-on from 10 to 12. 13 on a B. Back down to 10. I think that sounds kind of cool. And then <clears throat> you just play that for, you know, the lead after the chorus, take a nap during the verse, um, do some dabbling in the pre-chorus, do the chorus rhythm section, you do the lead again, and then the bridge breakdown, you just do you know, your typical lead. And you just do that for the entire song. That's it. That's, that's the entire song. So if you guys have any questions or comments, concerns, you just don't like me, you can always comment down low. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, 13Bryce94. I'll put it in the description. Um, you can also message me there for a faster response because I don't check my email super often. Uh, so I can't see any guys comment on stuff. Um, but you can direct message me on Instagram. I'll get back to you pretty quick. Um, I'm on there kind of a lot. I try to be. Um, also, feel free to give me suggestions for more um, tutorials and lessons and even covers if, you know, suits your fancy. Um, other than that, get Bryce out.